This is Joy Paris at Rich Girl Network TV, and we're at Sunset Gower Studios for the new filmmakers event. It's going to be a fantastic night. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to Rich Girl Network TV. This is Pilarin with Rich Girl Network TV, and we're here at the Gower Studios for the new filmmakers. We're very excited to be here and find out who are the upcoming new artists and producers and writers and see what they have to bring for the film industry. Stay tuned with Rich Girl Network TV. Compulsion is your film that's uh, screening tonight for the first time, correct? Well, it's actually played in a couple of other film festivals, but first time here. What inspired you to do the story? A few years ago when I lived in New York I heard that you can go online and put in your zip code yes. and of course the first thing I did is I went home and I went online and I put my zip code and I was shocked at how many sexual uh, sex offenders were in my mm -hmm. area and there was actually one living in my building so after I saw his picture every time I saw him in the lobby or in the elevator all of a sudden my antennas would go up. And this kind of story was yeah. born from that. Now how did you get involved in the role? Uh, I was lucky enough to be called in by one of the producers uh, to come in and audition for the project and it's definitely against type for what I normally do. Uh, Which is what? I'm normally the uh, dark bad guy so mm -hmm. Constantinos wanted to switch the roles yeah. so that people could look at it in a different light mm -hmm. and um, I got a chance to play Jane's husband and it, uh, it was a great experience, really a good time. Well I'm <laughs> excited to see Compulsion tonight Thank you. and uh, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm Thank looking you. forward to uh, seeing this handsome fellow here as uh, the dad, Jane's husband, right? Protective yes. Father, Protective, yes. Father. Protective father. We'll go with that. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ali Mullen, and in the film, I am a girl who you have to figure out how I contribute to the role of a sex offender. So, did you enjoy doing the film? Oh my God, I loved it. The family, like, it was just a family. Like, we all got together, and we were so comfortable with each other, and. It was just one big happy family. I was so excited to go to set every day, so it was amazing. And she's so cute and bubbly and sparkly, so what's in store for you after this? Well, I, this is my dream to act, so hopefully more movies, more TV, more commercials, and just I'll see where it takes me. So, well, yeah. she's adorable. She's got this really cute, look at this face. Who wouldn't want this child in the film, right? So come on, HBO, Disney. You know, <laughs> Ali Mullen. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, darling. You thank look beautiful, you. and I can't wait to see the film. Thank you. Thank you. She's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
And one of the hardest parts was seeing her have to cry so much through everything because we had the scene together where she was doing a lot of crying. So that was that was hard to, to watch her go through what yeah, she had to go through. All right. Well, you heard it here from all these beautiful actors and actresses about this amazing film. And I cannot wait to uh, go check out the film. So congratulations, guys. Thank and uh, we'll see you at the screening, right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name is Wanjiran Jendu, and I'm the director and producer of Look Again. We, we started crowdsource funding to raise money and we didn't meet our budget. So we were still raising money as we shot. I actually convinced all my vendors to give us everything we needed and to defer payment and the day we wrapped the next day we met our production budget. Um, it's a personal story because it was written by a very close friend of mine and it's also coming from a personal space for her and for myself as a director and just working I mean my leads Lauren Neal and Simone Cook you know my other actors Anthony Pomelio, Amanda Fleming, Jeff Bean, Jeff Smith, Florence, Florence Regina were just fantastic and they've literally become my family so it's been quite an experience and a reward for it. Thank you so much for talking to us and I'm very excited to see the movie. Thank you. Thank I you. hope you like it. Thank you. So tell everybody your name and uh, what movie are you bringing on the screen today? Okay, so uh, my name is Niels Vegas and I'm from the Netherlands and uh, my film is called The New Suited. What inspired you to make that? Uh, it's an animated film? It's an animated film, yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's what you call, I, I guess, Nickelodeon material. It's, 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 uh, it's for, a, for a slightly younger audience. Well, thank you for talking to us and I'm excited to see the movie. Thank you. It's uh, Danny and Delilo and the film is Proximity. What's it about? It's uh, pretty much about uh, an energy shutdown on countries around the world. And uh, there is this young couple, uh, Luni Weds, and they've got a young girl and who's staying with their uh, grandparents in Spain. And everything's shutting down and in every form of communication, but it could be a terrorist attack, could be an, forms of another planet coming into the UK or to kind of like kill everybody off. Um, and pretty much what they've got to do is go out to the world and uh, with this device and try and give a message to their daughter Pretty much oh, before the world ends. Science fiction. Science fiction. All right. And we made it in 48 hours. Okay. So well, it was hard work. Well, I want to see good. this film and I love this guy's accent well, and uh, I'm going to see your film soon. Excellent. Thanks for your time. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. This is Ryan Logan and his film is called The Widow. And he, director, so Ryan, real quickly, we don't want to give away the story, but just like a 10 second what the film's about and what was the most challenging thing about this role for you, Gino, directing this film? The film uh, is about a woman uh, on the morning of her husband's funeral and uh, it's a fly on the wall perspective from the time that she wakes up uh, to the time that she leaves the house. And at the same time we hear her brother and her sister uh, talking about her, but also kind of catching up on old times in a cell phone conversation. And the whole point of the film, it, it revolves around the isolation of grief and the idea that it's something that's so personal, so intimate, uh, but it's so epic, it's so huge, and no one else can really identify with you, even if they're grieving the same loss. And so that was actually the most difficult thing to capture because uh, with the, the cell phone audio being laid over the film, uh, nobody actually talks except for one line towards the end of the film. And so portraying something that's so, um, a journey that's so inside of someone else right. and making it really relate to other people that are watching the film uh, was difficult. Sounds exciting and I can't wait to see The Widow and I know we have to rush off, but really quickly, um, who was the writer for this project? Me. Oh, <laughs> he's being tricky. He didn't tell me he also wrote the film. Good heavens. So writer, director, well, I cannot wait to see the film and congratulations. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Tiffany Brower, Dig, and I play Marie. Uh, Josh Caldwell, Joshua Caldwell, Dig, I directed it. Oh, nice. yeah. some director there. <laughs> Bella Dane, Dig, Chantal. Uh, it's the story of a young Holocaust survivor who, 20 years following his exodus from Europe, is in a cafe in Los Angeles in 1962, and he sees the Nazi responsible for killing his family. And he kidnaps him, drags him out to the desert, and orders him at gunpoint to dig his own grave. Okay, I want to see that. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, that sounds really great. What was the challenging role uh, directing that? I mean, what was the most challenging part for you? Well, we spent three days in the desert up in Palmdale. It was right when daylight saving time had changed. We had less than 11 hours of light per day, and we're shooting an outdoor scene for three days. And so, you know, when you're dealing with weather elements, it's, that was probably the toughest, but it was also, I think, what really gave the film some grit and some soul. Gosh, well, I wish I had more time to talk to these filmmakers, but we'll catch them after the screening, right? Okay, great. Thank you, guys. I am Daniel Hawthorne, and I'm actually the producer for the film In the Middle that's screening. 
I really liked everyone that was involved in the project. Everyone kind of had a go-getter attitude. And so it was really fun just pulling people from different backgrounds and different environments and with different skill sets and just kind of saying, this is what we want to do. Let's go for it. Let's make this. We're about to go and see the movie, and what can we expect from the movie, very briefly? It's kind of a Groundhog-esque film, uh, meaning that it kind of gives, it's based on the concept of being stuck in the same place, being stuck in a rut that you can't really seem to get out of, out of everyday life, you know, that a lot of us feel at some point in our life. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a different film. It's a, it's a film that makes you think a little bit. This is Joy Paris. And this is Piletti. And you're watching VisualNetwork.tv. So tonight we saw some really great films. Did you have a favorite? I had a favorite. I had a favorite. I think so. Uh, it was a Spanish one. It was filmed in Spain. It was, you know, like Europe, of course. Uh, it was emotional. Definitely good, good acting. It's all about good acting to me. How about you, Joy? I really loved that film. It was great. I also liked the film about finding yourself. It was short. I think it could have been longer. I'm not going to get there. <laughs> I think it was too short. It could have been a little longer for a short film. But it was, it was good, too. Well, you know what? We had a great time tonight. We're excited to be here at Sunset Gala Studios. And we cannot wait for next month's New Filmmakers Festival. Stay tuned with RichoNetwork.tv.